I just spent 20 minutes talking at the camera about something really important and then when I went to edit the footage the microphone hadn't been plugged in all the way and so it was constantly cutting in and out in a way that would have been completely unbearable for anybody to listen to and, and nobody would have actually watched the video so I had to start all over and I am very unhappy. Anyway. Now is a good time to mention that last summer I poured water all over my laptop and it doesn't work anymore. So the only thing I have to edit video on is my phone, which is an iPhone 6. And I feel about looking at a tiny screen the way that most people feel about being locked in a tiny closet. So please bear with me yeah, as I learn how to edit video on a tiny screen that makes me want to jump out of a window. Thanks. Anyway, I'm here today to talk about how depression slash anxiety and brain fog slash hyperfocus are actually the same thing happening in different places. Now, you may have thought to yourself on some occasion, I don't know why ADHD or ADD involves the phrase attention deficit when the people who are diagnosed with it seem to have a preternatural ability to focus sometimes, but not others. What gives? Question mark. A great question. The answer to that is that What's happening is that their inflammatory response is simply more exaggerated. And so whether they're in the state of intense focus or they're in the state of barely even conscious, brain empty, zero thoughts, they're going to experience that state more significantly. It will be a more severe change. That is why they have ADHD because when their body sends a lot of blood to their brain, it's a lot of blood. But also, when their body sends a lot of blood to their body, it's a lot of blood too. If you look at these diagrams, you can see that the difference between these states is, as the last bullet point alludes to, the difference is where the blood is being sent. When you talk about your pupils being dilated or constricted, the mechanism that causes that is the same mechanism that causes the blood vessels all over your body to dilate or constrict. Your body tells you what tasks you're going to be doing right now based on where the blood is and isn't. When you are depressed, when you experience chronic depression, I don't just mean when you have the singular experience of being sad. When you experience chronic, long-term, medium-term, whatever, depression, you are having excessive inflammation in your body and there's not as much blood in your brain. That's why you're depressed. Everything seems empty because your brain doesn't have the resources that it needs to see all the possibility that it can see at other times. When you have anxiety, when all you can do is think of the possibility to the point where it's horrible and debilitating, that's because there's a lot of blood in your brain. Your body has given your worry machine the extra resources. So you worry. When you cannot tear your attention away from something, it's because the focus part of your brain has a lot of blood in it. When you cannot get your brain to latch on to anything, no matter how much you want to, it's because there's not enough blood in the focus part of your brain. You can decrease the severity of these states and thus decrease the extent to which ADHD limits your life and holds you back simply by decreasing the intensity of your inflammatory response.